boy Jackie Dempson, check it out. Now, as soon as I thought, let's remove the uh, average from Troy Average's name. If you don't know, he's a struggle rapper out of New York City. He's the guy who is trying to rap off his iPhone while hiding with like a fucking bottle of Fiji water, trying to hide his iPhone while he was spitting on Sway. Struggle fucking rapper. Now, here's the paradoxical thing about this guy, okay? He's not popular at all, okay? To keep it real, within the five boroughs or how many boroughs is in New York City, he's popular there. But outside of New York City, this guy's like, who? Now, here's the thing. He considers everybody who doesn't like him a fucking weirdo. Now, considering his popularity, that's paradoxical at best. Because if everybody that don't like you is a weirdo and barely anybody likes you, maybe it would be the other way around that maybe you're the weirdo and maybe everybody else is regular. But not according to Troy Average, because if you don't like him, you're a fucking weirdo. Now, let me tell you about Troy Avs. Like, this is his normal fan base right here. This is the person he raps for. And if you don't fit this type of this type of, uh, image or demographic, you're probably a fucking weirdo. So you can find out if you're a weirdo or not, okay? He raps for niggas who's rocking Fubo jeans, Kooji sweatshirts, beat up Timberland boots, and a do-rag with a motherfucking bandana around it, okay? So if you're not wearing that, you're a fucking weirdo, according to him. So... Here's the thing, and, and this is the reason why I'm also fair, because I called him Troy Average because he claims he was so good, but he was putting out average material. Actually, over the last year, he's put out above average, and I was going to say, we got to stop calling him average if he's putting out above average shit. His last mixtape, I checked it out, I kind of liked it, but now it, it culminates till tonight, right? He dropped this song at Joey Badass, and if you don't know who Joey Badass is, he's a rapper out of New York as well, and he has a master fan base online, really, and he has a lot of people rocking with him, a pro-era rapper, okay, that's his group, right? Now, here's the thing about that, because uh, Joey Badass mentioned Troy Ave's name in the song Ready, and he basically said this, with the 80-20 split due to math, my nigga Kirk Knight just outsold Troy Ave. Now, everybody knows Troy Ave went triple plastic, okay? He dropped his, like, debut album called Major Without a Deal. We found out it was Major with a flop, okay? He sold about, like, 3,000 records. We all clowned him. He tried to make up excuses. Oh, he sold it out of the back of his car. He sold 15,000. No, 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 nigga, you flopped, okay? Now, he's made comments before, basically saying he's the best-selling independent rapper, and Joey Badass is saying, dog, I outsold you by, like, 20 times. How could you be the best-selling independent rapper when I'm selling more than you? So that's where the friction comes from. So Joey Badass mentioned him on a, a lyric, and then he comes back with a full-on diss song. Now, we gotta be fair, right? This is hip-hop competitive. Diss songs are ingrained in the hip-hop culture, but it seems like a few lines were crossed here, because if you listen to the, the song, and Troy Average's song is actually called uh, Badass. If you listen to his song, he goes in on one of the pro-era dudes that actually died. So he's going in on the dead homies, all right? Now, he's going in on Capital Steeds. If you don't know, a couple of years ago, Capital Steeds uh, reportedly committed suicide, allegedly jumped to his death. And basically, this is what Troy Ave said on his this song. I'm going to read the lyrics. He said this, Don't be suicidal like your friend. Here's a casket. Steez burning in hell. My burner on my belt. I'm really killing shit. You niggas killing yourself. Fucking weirdos. Off the roof. Stay clear, yo. This nigga trying to fly. He think he a superhero. Splat, man. Fuck you and that man. And all three labels you signed to, they whack, man. Here's the facts. I'm a self-made man, got it off the curb, okay? He also continues to say, sold a couple records, but nobody cares. You never on the radio, but nobody cares. You just an internet rapper, nobody cares. Now, let's talk about facts, because he loves talking about facto, okay? Let's drop a couple facts on Troy Average, because, listen, we're all about facts, okay? First of all, Troy Average, you dropped your first album and flopped. That was an L, okay? You came out sounding like a great value version of 50 Cent. That was an L. You tried to restore the feeling. You still ain't restore shit. That's still an L, okay? I, I think you're getting the theme, right? L over L, maybe L O N L. You're really catching L's out here, bruh. So when I see you going at somebody who's sold reportedly around 55,000 records with his album, and when you put out an album, you sold like 3,000, it makes me say, wait, if they don't care about the guy who's selling 55,000, why the fuck they care about the guy who's actually selling 3,000? You could do the math, because that's all you talk about, right? Powder, okay? Let's do the fucking math. You sold 3,000. It was a weed plate, a certified fucking dud, a major without a deal, and put it, to keep it real, you're talking about major without a deal, but you put up minor league numbers. Come on, bro. If nobody cares about him, 
Who the fuck cares about you? Because this is the problem with Troy Average, okay? His likability is just not there, okay? He got the old nigga mentality, right? He's one of those back-in-the-day type of niggas, okay? With the flabby and sick flat top stuck in the 90s wishing he was kind of extra in the house party movie. He was still trying to get popping in 2016. You would think, right? According to him, if the hood ain't playing you, you ain't doing shit. But clearly, this is a nigga look like he has no concept of what the internet is, okay? Because I'm tired of these rappers, man, that act like the internet's not a real thing. He needs to dust off the fucking Nextel chirp phone that he's using, use a fucking dial-up service, get on AOL or whatever it is, and check out what's actually hot. There's internet rappers that are way hotter than your entire life, okay? You think it's just uh, Joey Badass that's an internet rapper? Most of these people are really popping via the internet. When's the last time you heard a little Dirk on the motherfucking radio? When's the last time you heard a little Her? on the motherfucking radio when's the last time you really heard young thug on the radio but these guys are way more popping than troy ave not because troy ave is in new york city and he's politic and shaking hand kissing babies and he's getting play on hot 97 doesn't mean he's really popping i don't hear troy listen i just came back from california i never heard troy average music on the radio at all period i don't even think they know who troy average is so when you actually try to talk down on the people on the internet it makes me say like what the fuck what, what kind of game are you in you're not even selling records. Okay, you're talking about the hood. What hood? What fucking hood are you that popping in? Because when I go around the United States, okay, I'm not hearing your music everywhere. I really only hear your music at all in New York. Okay, to keep it real, if you really want to be technical designer, he got one song and he's hotter than Troy Ave. So it kind of makes me feel confused when I hear him rapping about nobody cares and he's actually talking about an artist that's actually above his caliber. It would be one thing if you're talking to somebody below you, but when you're talking to somebody who's outsold you, who could probably do bigger, bigger shows than you, and who actually puts up the numbers, it's like, dog, you sound like the fucking bench player criticizing Steph Curry, talking about Steph Curry went 9 of 12 and he missed three shots and you're thinking, nigga, you never took a shot so it, it really confused me i thought it was a decent song don't get it fucked up it was a decent song very disrespectful though i want to be fair very disrespectful but it's a decent song i do think joey badass is going to come back he's probably going to annihilate troy Av. now i don't know if troy Av is a street nigga or not i don't be in the streets following up what niggas are doing so maybe his troy Av is really that street and he could pop that shit and nothing happens that might be cool however at least on a lyrical level I think Joey Badass is about to eat this motherfucker alive. Okay? Give him a call. Make you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Check out the link in the description if you want to hear both songs. And uh, you guys could join on the discussion. It's Jackie Academics, man. I'm out.